Hello viewers, thanks for joining me for this short video. Today I am going to talk about the second major impediment for pharmacy practice in India. And unless we resolve this problem, I am not sure how far the real intention of providing pharmaceutical care or MTM management for the patient can be done by a PharmD in India. Let us look at this. Just take an example of this single drug called proton pump inhibitors. Currently, there are six active ingredients for these drugs. And in US, there will be six brand names for these drugs. The cost of these drugs for a 30-day supply, as shown in the last column, goes from $9 to $252. So, and as a pharmacist with appropriate training, you know that clinically there is no difference for most situations. You can switch one with the another. Dexlenzoprazole probably is twice as effective as lenzoprazole, but it costs so much more. So in US, a pharmacist can substitute any generic which he carries for equivalent to the brand name unless otherwise the doctor has specified do not change. The same Lansoprazole is sold by 91 different names. Look at their names. Does it make any sense? Can you make, can one pharmacist from one region even know that this drug contains Lansoprazole? Acilenza, Arlan, Balenza, Balanzo, Capsule Lock OD, Chexit, Coolains, Domsin, Heligo. Jotlands, Junior Lanzo, Lampo. And if you come up to Omeprazole, there are 608 names. ABCD, ABCDD, Epclodo D, Abizol, Abizol D, Ekchak, Asigon. Literally, this is worse than the Vishnu Sastranama. At least one can memorize Vishnu Sastranama, but nobody can remember this. So, how do you provide a pharmaceutical care when one of the goal of pharmaceutical care is providing optimum therapy at the best cost? There's no way. And in India, because they do not, at this point, do not specify just the drug by the generic name and they call these local brand names, it's very difficult to substitute for anybody. And an ordinary drugstore person, when he dispenses the drug to you, do you ever think he is giving you the drug at the lowest cost or the most appropriate drug which can resolve the problem? Probably not. So, for any PharmD who wants to start practicing and providing pharmaceutical care, you have to decide, just carry one or two of the brand names which you think provided the optimum care for your patient at the lowest effective cost. And that is the only way you can solve the current dilemma in the Indian scenario. Again, thank you for watching. Hope this was useful to you. Bye.